The United States Navy is soaring into uncharted skies with a bold vision that echoes the daring dreams of the world wars. Flying aircraft carriers, once dismissed as impractical, this audacious concept is making a triumphant return, fueled by the relentless pursuit of technological supremacy. With an eye on the historical roots, we'll navigate through the evolution of flying carriers, explore the cutting-edge U.S. Ford class, and unveil the latest endeavors involving the modification of Lockheed C-130 Hercules, propelling the U.S. Navy into a new era of aerial prowess. The concept of flying aircraft carriers traces its origins back to the early 20th century, a period marked by intense experimentation and innovation, particularly during the World Wars. As nations sought unconventional methods to project air power, the idea of deploying aircraft from airborne platforms gained traction. One significant historical endeavor in this realm was Project Pogo, an initiative by the U.S. Navy during World War II. Project Pogo aimed to develop large, long-range aircraft with the capability to carry and launch smaller fighter planes. The idea was to extend the operational range of fighter aircraft by utilizing these airborne carriers, allowing for strategic flexibility and surprise attacks. While the project represented a visionary approach to military aviation, it faced formidable challenges, both technical and financial. Historical attempts to create operational flying aircraft carriers encountered hurdles that proved insurmountable for many projects. Boeing's 747 Airborne Carrier and Lockheed CL-1201 are emblematic examples of initiatives from the past that struggled to overcome these challenges. The technical complexities of designing and maintaining airborne platforms capable of launching and recovering aircraft, coupled with the financial burden of such ambitious undertakings, led to the abandonment of many projects. The setbacks experienced by these early initiatives did not, however, dampen the enthusiasm for the concept among military strategists and engineers. The idea of flying aircraft carriers persisted in the collective imagination, serving as a reminder of the tantalizing possibilities and potential strategic advantages they could offer. Despite the historical challenges, the allure of airborne carriers endured, fueled by the ongoing evolution of aviation technology and the changing nature of military conflicts. The failures of the past became valuable lessons, contributing to a growing body of knowledge that would eventually inform contemporary efforts to explore flying aircraft carriers. As the U.S. Navy rekindles interest in this concept, it builds upon the foundations laid by these early endeavors, aiming to overcome historical obstacles and usher in a new era of aerial capabilities for naval forces. In the contemporary era, the U.S. Navy's pursuit of flying aircraft carriers is intricately connected to the technological prowess embodied in the U.S. Ford class. This new generation of aircraft carriers signifies a monumental leap in naval engineering, incorporating cutting-edge features that redefine the capabilities of these formidable vessels. At the forefront of this innovation is the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, the lead ship of the Ford class and a testament to the zenith of naval technology. The U.S. Ford class's most striking feature is its utilization of nuclear power, an advancement that revolutionizes the endurance and operational range of the carrier. The nuclear propulsion system eliminates the need for conventional refueling, providing unparalleled staying power and flexibility in deployment. This leap in propulsion technology significantly extends the carrier's operational capabilities, allowing it to traverse vast distances without logistical constraints. Complementing its nuclear power, the U.S. Ford class incorporates advanced sensors and combat systems that enhance situational awareness. These technological integrations enable more effective command and control in dynamic and contested environments, empowering the carrier to adapt swiftly to evolving threats. The carrier's capability to operate in high-threat scenarios is thus greatly augmented, reflecting a commitment to staying ahead of the curve in modern naval warfare. A defining characteristic of the U.S. Ford class is its remarkable aircraft capacity, setting it apart as a true force multiplier in power projection. With the capacity to host up to 75 fighter jets, including the state-of-the-art F-35C Lightning II, the carrier establishes itself as a formidable aerial platform. The inclusion of the F-35C, a fifth-generation stealth fighter, introduces a new dimension to the carrier's air wing ensuring adaptability and versatility in the face of contemporary threats. In essence, the U.S. Ford class serves as a foundation for the exploration of flying aircraft carriers. Its technological advancements, 
from nuclear propulsion to advanced sensors and increased aircraft capacity, not only redefined the capabilities of traditional sea-based carriers, but also paved the way for innovative concepts that leverage these capabilities in unconventional ways. As the U.S. Navy navigates the complexities of modern warfare, the U.S. Ford class stands as a symbol of forward-thinking naval engineering and the relentless pursuit of military superiority. In a departure from traditional sea-based carrier technology, exemplified by the U.S. Ford class, recent developments in flying aircraft carriers showcase a novel approach by the U.S. Navy. Rather than pursuing massive airborne platforms, the focus has shifted towards modifying existing aircraft to function as carriers for unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. At the forefront of this initiative is the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, a versatile military transport aircraft renowned for its storied history and adaptability. The rationale behind this modification is to leverage the C-130's inherent capabilities for deploying and recovering UAVs, thereby extending the reach and efficacy of naval aviation. The modification process involves adapting the aircraft to perform the intricate tasks of carrying, launching, and recovering UAVs in a manner that is not only operationally feasible but also cost-effective. This approach capitalizes on the existing fleet of C-130s, reproposing them for a role that enhances the versatility of naval aviation. Despite encountering setbacks in testing, the program signifies a transformative shift towards more agile and adaptable naval aviation capabilities. The incorporation of UAVs into carrier operations presents a myriad of advantages, including a substantial reduction in risk to human pilots operating in contested environments. Additionally, UAVs offer increased endurance for prolonged surveillance and reconnaissance missions, extending the operational range and persistence of naval aviation assets. The modified Lockheed C-130 Hercules, serving as a flying UAV carrier, aims to complement the powerful sea-based carriers like the U.S. Ford class. This initiative responds to evolving strategic challenges by providing additional flexibility and adaptability in naval aviation operations. The C-130's ability to serve as a flying UAV carrier not only augments the capabilities of the U.S. Navy, but also opens avenues for innovative mission profiles, expanding the spectrum of operations that can be conducted in diverse and dynamic geopolitical environments. As the program progresses, the U.S. Navy stands poised to embrace a new era of naval aviation, combining the strengths of both sea base and airborne platforms to ensure unmatched strategic advantage. The exploration of flying aircraft carriers, whether in the traditional airborne platform model or through modified aircraft for UAV operations, is a venture laden with formidable challenges. These hurdles span technical intricacies, logistical complexities, and financial considerations, all of which must be meticulously addressed to unlock the full potential of these groundbreaking concepts. Technical challenges form a critical facet of this exploration, encompassing issues ranging from ensuring aircraft stability during launch and recovery to devising efficient communication systems and integrating advanced avionics. The complex nature of modifying aircraft for carrier operations necessitates precise engineering and extensive testing to guarantee the safety and effectiveness of the flying aircraft carrier. Overcoming these technical hurdles is imperative to ensure the reliability and functionality of these innovative platforms in diverse operational scenarios. Logistical challenges present another layer of complexity. Unlike their sea-based counterparts, flying aircraft carriers require unique considerations for deployment, maintenance, and support infrastructure. Traditional carriers have established protocols for port visits and maintenance, but airborne platforms demand a different set of logistical arrangements. Adequate facilities for aircraft maintenance, crew rest, and operational planning must be strategically positioned to sustain continuous and effective operations, posing logistical challenges that must be surmounted to ensure the viability of these endeavors. Financial considerations loom large in determining the feasibility of flying aircraft carriers. The development and maintenance of such cutting-edge platforms entails substantial costs, and budget constraints may exert influence over the scale and pace of these programs. Military planners and policymakers face the delicate task of balancing the potential strategic benefits of flying carriers with the financial investment required. Navigating this intricate equation is essential to ensure that these initiatives align with broader national security objectives while remaining fiscally responsible.
The U.S. Navy's exploration of flying aircraft carriers stands at the intersection of history, innovation, and strategic foresight. From the daring experiments of the world wars to the technological marvels embodied in the U.S. Ford class and the adaptive modification of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, the journey unfolds. As the skies become the next frontier for naval capabilities, these endeavors showcase the Navy's unwavering commitment to pushing boundaries. The dream of airborne carriers, once relegated to the annals of impossibility, now takes flight, symbolizing a promising future where naval aviation transcends conventions. The quest for dominance in the aerial domain continues to soar. In a mesmerizing ballet of steel and speed, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, crown jewel of the U.S. Navy, took center stage in the Mediterranean. Accompanied by the thunderous symphony of F-18s catapulting from its deck, this display of naval prowess transcended mere military maneuvers. It was a breathtaking dance of power. Against the backdrop of azure waters, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford and its agile aerial counterparts orchestrated a stunning assault, leaving the world in awe. This dynamic spectacle not only showcased cutting-edge technology, but sent a resounding message a visual crescendo echoing across geopolitical waters, painting the Mediterranean with strokes of strategic significance. The dance of power, U.S. Gerald R. Ford and F-18s launched stunning assault in Mediterranean. At the forefront of this maritime ballet is the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, the most advanced and formidable aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy. A floating city of power and precision, this nuclear-powered behemoth symbolizes American military ingenuity boasting state-of-the-art technology and a capacity for sustained, high-intensity operations. From its advanced electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS, to its nuclear reactors, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford is a testament to the United States' commitment to maintain naval superiority in the 21st century. The deployment of the U.S. Gerald R. Ford in the Mediterranean is more than a mere show of force. It's a strategic move with implications rippling through the waters of international relations. The Mediterranean, historically a crucible of geopolitical tensions, has once again become a focal point for global powers. The presence of the U.S. Gerald R. Ford serves as a clear signal, echoing across the sea lanes and reaching the corridors of power worldwide. The United States is keenly watching, and its military presence is a non-negotiable factor in regional affairs. Accompanying the U.S. Gerald R. Ford in this maritime spectacle, are the F-18's nimble and lethal aircraft that add an aerial dimension to the display of force. The integration of carrier-based air power enhances the carrier strike route's capabilities, extending its reach and influence across vast expanses. The F-18s, with their ability to conduct air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions, exemplify the versatility demanded in modern naval warfare. As the F-18s catapult from the deck of the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, the synchronized choreography of man and machine becomes apparent. These aircraft, with their arresting visual presence and thunderous roar, are more than just warplanes. They are ambassadors of American air power, delivering a resounding message to potential adversaries and assuring allies of the United States' commitment to regional stability. The choice of the Mediterranean as the stage for this military ballet is not arbitrary. The region has become a geopolitical chessboard, where strategic interests intersect and collide. The ongoing conflicts in the Middle East, the competition for energy resources and the delicate balance of power between NATO and Russia make the Mediterranean a focal point for global powers. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford, with its F-18 escort, is a mobile symbol of American influence, capable of swiftly responding to emerging threats and projecting power wherever needed. Amidst the maritime theatrics, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford's deployment assumes a crucial diplomatic role. Beyond showcasing military might, it stands as a symbol of the United States' unwavering commitment to a rules-based international order. By upholding maritime law and securing vital sea lanes, it becomes a stalwart guardian of global commerce. In an epoch of escalating great power rivalries, the carrier's formidable presence functions as a stabilizing force, dissuading potential challengers and offering allies a tangible reassurance. The Mediterranean, once a historical crossroads, now witnesses a contemporary dance of power where the U.S. Gerald R. Ford emerges as a steadfast defender of international norms. 
The U.S. Gerald R. Ford's dazzling display of naval might, coupled with the agile prowess of the accompanying F-18s, marks a pivotal moment in the complex tapestry of global power dynamics. Beyond the sheer spectacle, this military demonstration is a calculated move, a declaration of American resolve, a projection of force, and a reminder that the dance of power on the world stage is a symphony where every note is played with strategic intent. As the Mediterranean waves reflect the glow of military prowess, the world watches, pondering the implications of this stunning assault on the seas of geopolitics. Beneath the waves of admiration for life on a U.S. Navy destroyer lies a hidden reality seldom spoken of. Brace yourself to uncover the untold challenges of isolation, unrelenting workloads, and the toll they take on sailors' minds and bodies. Welcome to the unvarnished truth of life at sea. Life on a U.S. Navy destroyer is often romanticized in popular media, showcasing a sense of adventure, camaraderie, and patriotic duty. However, beneath the glossy surface lies a reality that is far from the glamorized image. The challenging and demanding nature of life on a Navy destroyer takes a toll on both physical and mental well-being, revealing a darker side that few outsiders truly understand. This article delves into the less publicized aspects of life on a U.S. Navy destroyer, shedding light on the sacrifices and hardships that sailors face. Isolation and Long Deployments One of the most significant challenges of life on a Navy destroyer is the prolonged periods of isolation and long deployments at sea. Sailors can spend months away from their families, friends, and the comforts of home. The confined living quarters, limited personal space, and constant exposure to the unpredictable ocean can lead to feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and homesickness. The absence of routine contact with loved ones can also result in strained relationships and a sense of disconnectedness from the world back home. Demanding Workload Life on a destroyer is characterized by a demanding workload that leaves sailors with little time for leisure or relaxation. The ship operates around the clock, with crew members participating in various duties and tasks, including navigation, maintenance, equipment operation, and watch shifts. The intensity of the workload, combined with the high-stress environment of being at sea, can lead to exhaustion, sleep deprivation, and physical strain. The pressure to maintain the ship's readiness and perform efficiently adds to the mental and emotional stress that sailors experience. Physical and Mental Toll the physical demands of life on a destroyer cannot be underestimated. The constant motion of the ship, exposure to extreme weather conditions, and physically taxing tasks contribute to fatigue and physical discomfort. Moreover, the challenging environment takes a toll on mental health as well. The isolation, confinement, and demanding workload can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and even depression among sailors. The absence of adequate mental health resources and the stigma associated with seeking help can further exacerbate these issues. Close Quarter Living The living conditions on a Navy destroyer are far from spacious. Sailors often share small berths and communal spaces, leading to a lack of personal privacy and the potential for conflicts among crew members. The close quarter living arrangements can magnify the impact of any disagreements or personality clashes, adding to the overall stress of life on board. The absence of personal space and privacy can also make it challenging for sailors to decompress and find moments of solitude. Risks and Dangers Life on a destroyer is not without risks and dangers. These vessels are often deployed in high-risk areas, putting sailors in harm's way due to potential threats such as piracy, accidents, or even hostile encounters. The constant state of readiness and the need to be prepared for any scenario add an element of tension to daily life on board. The fear of the unknown and the potential for dangerous situations can lead to heightened stress levels and emotional strain. While the image of life on a U.S. Navy destroyer may evoke notions of valor and heroism, it's crucial to recognize the darker aspects that sailors face. The isolation, long deployments, demanding workload, physical and mental toll, close quarter living, and risks associated with naval operations paint a more complex picture of their experiences. These sailors make immense sacrifices to serve their country and protect its interests, often enduring personal hardships that remain unseen by the public. As society continues to admire and appreciate the dedication of these individuals, it's equally important to acknowledge the challenges they confront 
and to provide them with the support they need to cope with the dark truths of life on a Navy destroyer. In the vast expanse of the open ocean, where the horizon seems to stretch endlessly, the intricacies of aircraft carrier landings for U.S. Navy pilots present a breathtaking ballet of precision and teamwork. The challenge lies in the heart-stopping moments when an aircraft approaches the deck of a moving carrier, relying on arrested tailhook techniques to catch arresting cables. This high-stakes operation embodies the epitome of aviation prowess, where failure is not an option and success hinges on the synchronized efforts of skilled pilots, deck crew, and cutting-edge technology. The Dance of Precision – Arrested Tailhook Techniques Aircraft carrier landings are synonymous with arresting tailhook techniques, a remarkable feat of engineering that involves the use of a tailhook, an extendable metal device on the aircraft, to catch one of the arresting cables stretched across the carrier's deck. These cables act as a decisive means to bring the aircraft to a halt, enabling it to land within the confined space of the carrier flight's deck. The precision required for this maneuver is awe-inspiring, as pilots must calculate their approach speed, angle of descent, and timing to snag the arresting cable at just the right moment. The consequences of a failed landing are dire. A mistimed or missed tailhook can lead to catastrophic outcomes, from damage to the aircraft and carrier deck to potential harm to the crew and equipment. This unforgiving nature of carrier operations underscores the importance of unwavering training, preparation, and the synergy between technology and human expertise. The unpredictable factors, challenges in carrier landings. Rigorous training prepares Navy pilots for the challenges they may encounter during carrier landings. However, the environment at sea is anything but predictable. Adverse weather conditions such as strong winds, turbulent seas, and low visibility can disrupt even the most meticulously planned landing. The interplay between the pilot's skills and the carrier's motion requires split-second adjustments that demand exceptional focus and control. Technical failures also add a layer of complexity. Any malfunction in the aircraft systems or the arresting cables can lead to catastrophic results. Thus, maintaining the carrier's equipment and aircraft in peak condition is paramount to ensure safe operations. The dedication of maintenance crews and technical personnel is an unsung hero in the narrative of successful carrier landings. The choreography of communication, hand gestures and teamwork. Behind the scenes of these high-stakes operations is a choreography of communication that defies the chaos of aircraft carrier decks. The flight deck is a tightly orchestrated symphony where every crew member plays a crucial role. Intricate hand gestures are one of the many communication methods that facilitate safe takeoffs, landings, and emergencies. Hand signals are indispensable tools for conveying vital information between flight deck personnel and pilots. These gestures enable quick exchanges without relying on spoken words, which can be drowned out by the roar of engines and the noise of the environment. From guiding pilots during takeoff to signaling when it's safe to taxi and launch, these nonverbal cues are a testament to the efficiency and effectiveness of human communication. Precision and teamwork, the epitome of carrier operations. Aircraft carrier landings exemplify the pinnacle of precision and teamwork in aviation. The successful execution of these maneuvers involves the synchronization of pilot expertise, technological innovation, and the unwavering commitment of the carrier's crew. Each member of the team, from the pilots in the cockpit to the deck crew on the flight deck, plays a critical role in the seamless flow of operations. The challenges faced by carrier pilots are a testament to their resilience and adaptability. The ability to navigate adverse weather conditions, technical failures, and the intricacies of the deck environment highlights their unwavering dedication to their craft. Moreover, the trust and cooperation between pilots and deck crews underline the collaborative spirit that defines life on an aircraft carrier. The arresting tailhook techniques, the challenges posed by unpredictable factors, and the intricate choreography of communication all converge to create a theater of operations that demands nothing short of excellence. The dedication of U.S. Navy pilots and the entire carrier crew ensures that the unforgiving environment of the open sea is tamed by their expertise and unwavering commitment to safety and success.